Hey guys, what's up? Multi PS3 Gaming here again, and welcome back to another M Creator video. Today we are doing um, another video on uh, how to guide, I guess. Um, if you're gonna tell already by the title, M Creator was updated to 1.9, and it is awesome, like awesome. Um, I really like the features they added. I really like the interface and how they changed it up. Um, it's just really awesome. So, this video, as you can tell by the title, I don't know what to name it, so whatever the title is, that's what it is. Um, so, basically, in 1.9, they added a, a new feature to where you, if you make a item or something and you want to add a potion effect, they made it where the, you don't have to actually look up the potion effect number to find it out or find what the potion effect is. They actually made uh, all the names of the potion effects so you can click. But for some reason they took out the um, um, the thing where it increases say it's speed, it increases your speed or increases your strength to strength 5 or something. Um, I don't know why they took that out but I'm here to tell you I know how to fix it. So, let's go ahead and go into this video. Actually, before I start this video, I'm going to answer a question. I might make a separate video on this. Probably will, actually. Um, how to update your M Creative to another version. So, basically, they made it really easy for you guys. Um, so, say you have a ton of mods and you, there's a new version of M Creator, like 1.9. I was working on 1.8.9 all of last week and I updated 12.9 and I wanted to transfer all my mods it's really easy all you have to do is click export current workspace to MCR file so you can tell right here that's what it is it exports all your mods and then once you're in the newer version you just click import MCR file you click that and then wherever you save this MCR file to you just got to double click and it will open um, there is one problem with armors with the new events with the uh, potion effects um, which I'll fix right now. So if you have any armors, you might have to redo them. I Meaning the events. But let's let's go ahead and get this video. So I'm gonna demonstrate this on an armor. So we're gonna name this video. Click OK. Actually, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a custom armor texture. Make it red. I like red. Uh, we'll do leather. I'll name it video. Okay. Alright, so video parts right here. Just gonna go ahead and quickly add those. And then for the events, it doesn't matter which one you want it on. You want it on the chest plate, um, head. I don't know why I put it the chest plate and I'll just go into the head. Uh, leggings or boots, doesn't matter. We're going to do it on the chest plate, so go to add event. This is what I was talking about. They added where it actually says what the what the potion is. So we're going to do damage boost and duration. Basically, how long after you take off the helmet will it last for? We're going to just do 10. It doesn't really matter, though. I'm going to click add event. And if you want to add other, any other events, go ahead. Um, we're going to hit next. We're going to name video. Uh, I'm going to leave all this the same because it doesn't really matter to me and then get the texture in uh, I don't want a crafting recipe so go ahead and let that recompile and then once it's done recompiling um, we have to go into the Gradle log I think that's what it's called uh, no it's not Gradle, I don't know why maybe it is um, but you have to click on these two brackets to edit the code of the selected element, meaning the mod that you're making. <clears throat> so it's done recompiling. So we're going to click on the video and then we're going to hit the code thing. So now you're going to see a ton of um, codes and numbers to the left right here. You're going to want to scroll down to where it says, well, basically from 120 basically from 120 to, to 150 that's where you have to be looking in um, and then you have to find a, a code 
that says blah 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 potion effect or whatever effect that you're adding damage boost I'm doing and then the duration once you find that you're gonna to want to click after the number for the duration you want to hit a comma space and then same thing as the old thing uh, old M creator if you add a certain amount of strength add one to that so say you want strength five just put four and it'll be five we want strength five so we're gonna put four so basically it's gonna look like this so mob effects damage boost for the potion effect we want it to say the duration and then comma space and then the number of whatever you want then you're gonna to want to hit save and recompile and that's gonna recompile you can exit out of that and once it's done recompiling I'll go ahead and load in M creator alright so we are back in the world of Minecraft and we're in 1.9 obviously uh, give you a quick glimpse of it let's see I'll do this boom got a shield in our hands guys get extra strength with it alright let's go ahead and show the armors. so basically I have the armor on now and it says I have strength which means I have strength 5 so just prove it I'm gonna punch the zombie Two hits. Which zombies I think have 20 health. You have 10 health, so. It's a body. It's okay, I'll hit you one day. There we go. Um, just prove that it works. Uh, and yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, the new 1.9 update is amazing. If you guys go and download it. Um, and if you want to export it, uh, your current workspace, just do what I said to do with the MSR files. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll talk to everybody later. Peace.